All right, I've been waiting for this for a little while. Forza Motorsport 6. I have bought Forza Motorsport 5 and Forza Horizon 2. They're actually sitting over here in my game stack right now. And I saw this in the uh, in the game store here on the Xbox that we had the Forza 6 uh, demo. So I figured I got to try this out. So we're going to jump into it. I've been letting it install. I've only played the first race of this. But I'm going to show my thoughts as it uh, goes around. I've actually, the, the car right here, the uh, 2017 uh, Ford GT, I've actually seen this car in person at the Detroit International Auto Show, which is uh, very close to where I live. So I was able to see this car before its uh, main production run, and in the demo, you'll be able to drive it. One of the things, of course, that Turn 10 was really advertising about this game was the fact that it was going to have uh, night racing and uh, rain. So the same thing that Drive Club had, and I played Drive Club, of course. I like the day to night transitions, and I like the weather, um, the, the weather parts of that. I mean, uh, being locked to the road aside, um, and unlike at the time Forza Horizon 2, the game was pretty good technologically. And here's hoping that uh, Turn 10 can replicate it. Now I believe, oh. Why do we race? Is it to prove how fast we are? How far we can go? Do we race to find our place? To test our beliefs? To be part of something greater? To face fear? To know sacrifice? stronger to become immortal in truth there is no simple answer to why we race there is only the fact that we always will this is a good introduction start to add a human element onto it I, I, I don't know, like, I kind of, uh, kind of like Forza 5's intro a little bit better, though. Oh, look at that, the, the Huracan from Forza Horizon 2. I like it. So this is your race here in the demo. Your first race is here in Rio de Janeiro. It's a city I'd actually really like to see one day. And of course, I'm running this in 720p so you can see the 60 frames a second. That's one thing that Forza always had over everything else. And um, I don't know if I can tweak the... Um, I don't know if I can tweak the... Uh, here, I'm going to go to... Actually, no, I'm going to run it in cockpit view this time. Last time I played it, it was in uh, the chase cam. But let's try it a little differently this time around. Now I believe... Oh. Not as smooth, but it's a lot more immersive. So you can already see the colors and all that. I'm playing in 720p right now, but this would probably pop if I was um, in the full 1080. I also noticed I'm fairly lower than some of the other cars. Oop. I wonder if that's a, a um, to help increase the low drag profile of the GT. You can see like the race car. I, I hope this is in like the actual production car. That uh, cool heads-up display they got there. That's really neat. It's sort of like a combination of uh, revolutions per minute and uh, the actual speed of the car. It's probably the gear shift there, that moving bar. Rio, I'd love to go here one day. So, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to go to the uh, options menu to uh, select the, okay, fine, you want me to go to camera angle fine do that and I was disoriented so this is sort of like a major different from the last games right this is like a very life filled place you can see like the rainforest you can see the mountains see stuff going on in the background you can get the image of the city there it's 
really freaking cool. There's an airplane coming into land. There's cable cars running in the background. This this looks like you're actually racing in an actual city. There's stuff going on in the background. And look, actual three uh, 3D models of, uh, of people. Not so everything seems to be going a lot better. They've definitely had a lot of time to improve this game. So. This may just as well as totally replace Forza Motorsport 5. I mean, it might as well not even exist anymore. This looks like it's a clear improvement in every way while still retaining what made the original game so good. So I'm already way ahead of the pack. Uh, no, I just noticed I have no speedometer. Or no anything for all that matter. Huh, I wonder if that uh, just uh, is a case of the chase cam. I suppose it makes sense. I mean, there's probably an option to enable it, but you wouldn't you wouldn't really see your speedometer if you actually had a chase cam. So that's just lap. Oh well, no, only one. I think it was faster my last time. Oh, look at the waves that were breaking over the side. That's cool. That's really cool. Congratulations, you have completed your first race. It's awesome. I actually get the uh, Ford GT now when I buy the full game. So, what is the next race? After this, I have no idea what's going to happen. Now I'll so. give you a quick primer before starting your career. Primer. Your career spans five different volumes, each built around a different type of car passion. Okay. From hot hatchbacks and vintage sports cars to grand touring cars and formula racers. No. Oh. You will drive and collect the greatest cars in the world. But first, I'll guide you through a short three-race qualifying series. Qualifying series? Oh, okay. All right. Sure, why not? Nürburgring is probably in it this time around. But this middle track here looks like it's on one of the night tracks. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this. And after I do it in 720p, I'm going to come back and check it out in 1080p. So that way I get the full experience of what I'm trying to get here. Your first qualification race takes place at Lime Rock Park, known for its flowing elevation changes and rural... Lime Rock Park. Where is this? We've assembled a roster of truly oh, cool. cars from the Super Street volume to use for qualifying. All these cars have been upgraded to be evenly matched, so choose the one that speaks to you, and we'll get started. Hmm. 2013 Toyota GT86. I can't really... I can't really do a fly around on the cars to check it though. Well, I drive a Honda. I, I drive a Civic, so I guess the Honda brand uh, speaks to me the most. So the Honda S2000, 2009. Great choice. Now let's customize it to really make it yours. Ooh, awesome. These were created by other players in our vibrant community of painters. You can choose one to apply to your car for free. Uh, that's it? That's all we got? Well, I mean, back nobody actually uh, owns the game yet. And yeah, according to the creator, Little Vixen, that little uh, the little thing after it looks like it's the turn 10 signal, uh, the turn 10 sign there. So, yeah. let's see, what do I want? You... Race. Are you ready to start your race in this car? Sure. Why not? Looks like a racer to me. Sports cars and whatnot. Uh, coupes. So. You can even see like the, like the, even the the models on the side there they have like the detail Every race on them. An objective. For this qualifying race, you must finish in third place or better in order to advance. Hmm. Select start race to begin. Uh, drive avatar difficulty. I don't want to select just the right drive avatar uh, difficulty skill above average. You exactly the level of challenge you like. Increasing the difficulty will also increase your credits rewards. Decreasing the difficulty reduces this bonus, but it will be easier to win. Oh, shit, did I, did I choose to go in it? I wanted to disable the, um... Oh, I'm not done yet. Okay, very good. I just wanted to, um, adjust the assists. I don't want the automatic braking, so medium. Uh, so just line full. Removing driving assists will require you to exercise right. greater control of your car, but it will also increase your race payouts. Okay, so I can have, uh, fuel, like in Forza 4. And, uh, no, if I had in Forza 3, I think it was in Forza 4 as well. Tire wear. Okay, interesting. Okay, I'll accept that as is, and, uh, and I'll have a wheel. So, let's start the race. So, I'm going to have some degree of control over it. Each driver is as unique and competitive as the players who trained them. 
I'll go into chase camp for this one. Awesome. Okay, so here here is the uh, the the information here. Oh, look, it's the drive guitars again. All oh, some people on my friends list, some people not. And uh, I've got uh, braking control, so my car is not automatically braking here now. That's good. Very good. Stay on the inside of the turn. Driving basics 101. Excuse me, sir. Rothar shanks. Well, I'm about to shank Rothar there. It's called assisted braking. I just need a good angle on him. Oops. That was a little aggressive. All right. Aggressiveness goes a long way. Even in 720p right now, the visuals are quite gorgeous. It's the lighting that really makes it. This looks, the lighting makes it feel like it's an actual, an actual location. I mean, if you were obviously to take a, a photograph of this, it would seem as if it were, well, photorealistic. Pretty good right now. Third place. Third place at 24. There's a lot of cars out here. This is always, though, where it gets interesting. I made it so that I have to finish in the top three. Now, given the... Okay, I, I still am automatically breaking. Oh, well. I thought I uh, took care of that. I just got a draft behind this car here. I can probably slingshot ahead of him. Good. The first place car is right ahead of me. I was so close. I could see the gamer tag for a second. Uh, am I on lap two? Lap two... Returned a bit too hard. Get back on the road, you fool. Oh, uh, that's not good. That's not good. Hey, at least my split time's good. Mmm. Now I'm out for blood. See, it was one little mistake is enough to shut you down. Such is the way of race car driving. I can still pull back. Still got one more lap to salvage this. That's a good turn. Look at the forest all around. This has got to be, of course, somewhere in the United States, given the fact that it's all written in English. But I'm curious as to where. And the automatic braking, because it's got to make it easy for me here. Well, maybe I want to retain my speed. Did you think of that? Maybe I'll take the risk. Uh oh, 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 buddy went off the road. Yes, I'm safe. I will make third place. It's the same damn turn. All right, that's it. It's the same turn where I went off the road the last time. Fine, I'm a big man. I'm, I'm big enough to admit it. I made a mistake and I'm going to go back in time to fix it. Like any other person would naturally do. lucky enough to make it to second. First is out of the question now. He's too far ahead of me. I can get him on this turn right here. Or the game thinks that I should get him on that turn. Ah, oh, damn this automatic braking. Fine, I made third place. Gonna adjust that so that next time I can retain my speed through the turns. Third, fine. I should have made it to second, but I made the mistake of letting the game hold my hand. You race, you win credits. Hey! Credits help you buy new cars, upgrades, and other special items that I'll show you later. You'll also earn experience points, or XP for short. XP increases your driver level and affinity level. I'll share more details on these in the coming races. Those seem to be fairly similar to what was there before. Here's the affinity level, so I guess if I level up, then the manufacturer will send me another car. Nice work passing your first qualifying race. Shut up. I passed. Uh, yes, Marina Corkscrew. Huh. Oh, uh, the Yas Mar uh, Marina Circuit, Saudi Arabia. With track temperatures cooling after sunset, your car's tires won't provide as much grip. Your challenge will be to find the limit of traction without going... Oh, that's interesting. The time of the day influences how well my tire grip is. 
that's interesting because I can imagine surface temperatures of these tracks are oh, what over 100 degrees. I mean, it's blacktop. It's going to get hot really fast. And this fires. And if it's dark and it's cold, well, geez, I don't know how that's going to work exactly. So this track seems to be fairly similar, if not totally identical, to the one that was in Forza 5. Uh, naturally, the, the graphics are going to probably look a little bit better. I'm going to lessen the um, uh, the hand holding mods introduce you to this powerful new feature mods give you a whole new way to fine tune your experience whether you want to go even faster or raise the stakes mods um oh really how are we doing this are we doing rarity cards here is every game doing this nowadays select the starter pack to open it and see what there we go there's the microtransactions. Your new mods here. Then press A, and I'll show you how to apply them. Alright. What do we got? Improvised grid position. So I can bribe my way to better starting position. Isn't that nice? Actually seems realistic. Go to recommended mods. I'm going to do that. Here, you can choose which mods you'll use. Some mods are permanent, while others are good for only one race. Select an empty slot to apply your mod. Okay. You have successfully applied your first mod. I wonder what exactly happened. I, I know I used the mod for that, but how did I do it? Did I bribe an official or something like that? Did I kill the other driver and replace him with a clone? What is this? Uh, assists. Uh, braking assisted. ABS on. Uh, ABS is fine. The system pulses brakes to ensure they don't lock up. Full control braking force. If you apply the brake with too much force, they will lock up in this state. Your braking distance will increase and steering will be difficult. So, um, I'll, I'll leave the anti-lock braking system on. At least it'll, uh, it'll keep the game from, uh, total, having total control over when I brake or not. So that way I can probably get away with going over corners a little bit more. So, where exactly did I get to? I think I, I'm, I'm still in the back of the pack here. So now I'm in 11th place. I would have started in 12th before. But I bribed my way to better starting standing. So here's the darkness here. Oh, hey. That was not nice. Oh, all right. Yep, full control over braking. I always played this way in um, the other Forza games. There we go. Oh, <laughs> messed up. Cheating. Still got to get used to this. Yeah, that's fine. I haven't played a game like this in a little while. I will still, I, I will still use you as an improvised brake, though. <laughs> you got to take it slow. Watch my braking distance. Uh, I played uh, before uh, one of the F1 games, like the Formula 1 games. Those were crushingly realistic. And since I needed to break well before the apex of my turn. I got a tight turn coming up here after a straightaway. But yeah, those games were, were crushingly realistic. And the fact that I couldn't really enjoy it because there was too much realism. A little too much for my tastes. Here, there's just enough arcadiness to it that it makes it fun. But enough realism for it to seem grounded. Okay, onto the straightaway. I'm going to use this guy as a draft. I don't know if I got the top speed though. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Pulsing brakes, pulsing brakes. Yes! Thank you, my friends, for the hand. Now, every car has an individual feel, of course. I could feel it when I played Forza 5, so when you move on from the Honda to another car, naturally it's going to feel a little bit different. And so I can understand if I don't get it right away, if it doesn't, it, to use the game's terms, speak to me immediately. Oh, that guy crashed. Out of my way, Minnie. <laughs> Silly rabbit. Silly Minnie. Victories are for kids. Well, uh... hold on, that came out wrong. Victories for adults. Minis are for kids. Drive a real man's car. 
Get a Hummer. Environmental damage? You silly fool. Scientists don't agree with that. Good turn. Good turn. Yes. There we go. See what happens when you unlock your potential. The game doesn't handhold it for you. And now that I'm in, in front, I really have to watch my speed. I have to make sure that I brake accordingly. Or use handbrakes. It's going to be brutal, of course, in online races and whatnot. People are just damn magical when it comes to all that stuff. Okay, here we go. S turn coming up. I think the game will forgive me if I cut the corner just as such. So I wonder how differently this would play in the daytime. Good, I'm five seconds on my split time. Five and a half seconds. Excellent. It's doing pretty good. Of course, the distance markers, which of course warn you when you're coming up to the turn. Very useful in real life races. Oh, okay. I'm oversteering there. My split time is probably going to suffer, but I don't know if that'll be recorded anyway. Isn't that the, the starting line? Oh, we probably started at a different location, probably at the opposite end of the track. I'm surprised a lot of these people came out for a night race. Bala, bala, there we go. There we go! All right! Yes! Good. Because the game isn't going to punish me for going over the edge like that. It'll just give me the option to rewind, so technically speaking, it's still something that I can do. Like, I can go over the edge as long as I stay on the track in the end. Yeah, the darkness here, it seems fairly realistic. I mean, given the fact that this is supposed to be a well-lit track, it's uh, not as dark as it could be. It's obviously keeping the track very visible. Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't Saudi Arabia, it's Abu Dhabi. Or is Abu Dhabi in Saudi Arabia? I think it is. All right, that's the end of this race. And I came out on top, which is awesome. Yes! I think I've only got one race to go. So, my guess is that the third race is going to be in inclement weather. So, I leveled up. Prize spin. Oh, like in Forza Horizon 2. Alright. You've earned your first prize spin. You could win a credits windfall, mod packs, or even a brand new car. Ooh, wouldn't that be nice? Let's do it. Let's do it. Bugatti, 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 Bugatti. I'm... Eyes closed. I close. Eyes closed. All right. Uh, big money, big money, big money, big money. You yes! <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Trust the magic. <laughs> cars in events that highlight what Woo! your next race will be at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway also known as the Brickyard so as it turns out my uh, recording device did glitch after um, after I started this race and when I was reviewing the footage it turns out that it was um, it was improperly recorded it skipped through this race and the next race. So I had to play the whole demo over. And the plus side, I will be showing you this in 1080p so you can see exactly what the game looks like. Minus the extra 30 frames because my Elgato device does not record 1080p 60 frames a second. I have to shout out another 200 bucks to be able to do that. Oh, alas, right? So you're going to watch this. I like this because this is giving me a lot of vibes uh, from... Um, Formula One, uh, of an old uh, Sega Genesis game that I had, and I, I was a really big fan of that. 
So this is kind of a, a good callback to it. And you're going to see what it looks like, but oh my god, the speed. The speed has to be seen to be believed. I can't just show you this. You have to play it for yourself. And the turning is extremely tight on this, as you will see. So I'm going to play this in cockpit mode. So I've actually been to a couple of uh, indie events. The uh, Belle Isle Grand Prix in Detroit is something I've gone to several times. So I'm, I'm almost topping out at uh, almost at 200 miles an hour already. So yeah, the Belle Isle Grand Prix, that's actually an indie course. So that's something that it would be nice if it was in the game. It would be nice if there was like the whole bunch of crashes that were in the game as well. You go to an indie car race, of course, for the race itself, but also for the smashing and crashing. So there are seven laps here. So that's uh, something that you're going to... Oh, jeez. Oh, actually, I didn't... Uh, better than expected. Seven laps, so these races are not really short, but anything can happen in that, that span of time. Almost at the front of the pack already. This guy here, he wants to ruin my day. You have to be extra special careful when turning, because your forward momentum is so great that if you, if you just hesitate, even for the second, it's going to throw you off. I would love to see what these races are going to be like at night. Uh, especially with the, the cooling effect going on with Blacktop. Good. Excellent. It's not the most exciting track in the world, of course. It's just uh, taking a left turn. What can you say? It's Indianapolis. But uh, given the fact that, I don't know, these are indie cars, though. I wonder if uh, Formula One cars are in the game as well. Because if it's so, I mean, we can take the we can take these cars to other uh, famous courses all around the world, like uh, perhaps in Monte Carlo or Monaco or, or something like that, or even in uh, the U.S. I think that there are some big cities host indie car events as well. I'm trying to think, I think Detroit actually did have an indie event on the um, on the main street. I think so, but that was some time ago. So here we are, coming up on lap number four. I'm at 230 miles an hour, which is pretty much pretty much what I'm going to expect to get here on this track. It's Toxic 1974. Oh, and um, I did do the prize wheel again. And it turns out what it was doing, it wasn't rigged. Not like I, um, I won a different car this time, so I locked out. And you're not going to see it because, of course, my uh, recording uh, equipment glitched out. I actually won the million credit prize after leveling up a second time. So that was two golden rolls right there that I'm probably not going to replicate. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. So I'm lapping these guys now, and again, give me a lot of old Genesis vibes here because if you're in the lead and you're doing very good, you will uh, come up on the, the rest of the pack here and lap them, possibly twice if you're good. Makes you wonder why these guys are stuck in first gear or something like that. So this is going to lead to a lot of high tension races, I'll bet, in multiplayer. People are just going to go nuts in this, trying to eliminate other people. I've crashed like that before. On last lap, I'll go to um, I'll go to a chase cam. Oh. oh! Oh, I'm ashamed. I'm ruining my beautiful car. I didn't crash like this the first time around. This is new. This just gives you a taste of the speed that you're going to get in this game. I, I really appreciate that. That they're really trying to give you a sense of just what kind of cars are out there. See, who doesn't want to drive an indie car in their life? Or who doesn't want to drive a, a Formula One car, or a NASCAR stock car, or, or, or anything of that nature, any exotic car. This fuels the imagination and the desire to go fast because we humans love to break our boundaries. So here we go. It's pretty much as you're seeing it here. First time I'm seeing it too. You see the aerodynamic shape of it all. Just how fast you're going. Good lord, it looks even faster when I'm here in third person mode. And it's given the optical illusion that uh, the uh, 
of the, the, the flow of the tarmac here. Even though I'm looking straight ahead, it's, I'm going so fast that it's doing weird things to my eyes and how the blacktop looks here. Hard to describe, but you'll know when you see it. Anyways, that's the race here. Excellent. Best lap is short of 40 seconds, and that's pretty much the best I can do. Unless I want to see if I can go any faster. Let's see. Did I make it? No. I don't think I will. You have completed your first showcase race. That's good. You'll be invited to many more as you continue your career. Now, let's get back to the Challenger series. Okay, so this is the last one. And as I said before, this race takes place in heavy rain at Sebring International Raceway. Racing on a wet track poses several challenges. Tires lose grip easier during cornering. Braking distances are longer, and deep puddles accumulate, causing a risk of hydroplaning. So as I said before, I, I went through this once before. It didn't go that great because I guarantee you, anyone who's playing this for the first time isn't going to know exactly how to control in this sort of weather. It, uh, deeper puddles will cause you to hydroplane, which of course I've seen happen in real life. So this is kind of something that we all have to deal with when we're on the road. And it throws you off the first time you play it. It really truly does. And, but I selected a different car when I played it the second time around. I chose the Mazda, and it, it, it turns a little bit better. So I'm going to see if I can apply my, my other mods. Well, the one that increases my grip first and foremost, which I'm going to, which has unlimited use, at least in the demo anyway. And uh, the other green mods, which uh, appear to be one-time only deals. So I've already adjusted my... Um, Assists. If you feel ready for more of a challenge, select Drivatar difficulty. So excellent, I've got two more slots anyway, so I can play them. Wait a second, I only have the one? I thought I had a second one. Uh, never mind, it's alright. It can improve my grid position. Excellent. Excellent. Alright. Let's see how different this is. RX-7. Hey, look at it. This guy's on the wrong side of the car, so this must be British. Or Japanese, maybe? I think Japanese cars are driving on the left side of the road. Take a look at this. It's causing some really, really neat camera screw. And this is kind of what you would see on a heavy sort of rainstorm. You, can, you can't make out anything. I think I'm might have seen like the sun struggling to poke through the clouds and those deep puddles those will cause you to hydroplane those will cause your car to change direction because i guess it, it's deep enough or you're going fast enough for it to mess with your steering so i'm just wondering how it's calculated exactly because i know they scan these tracks with lasers so does that measure like if there's a certain dip in the track the system will code it so that water gathers in that area or, or something like that i'm not entirely sure exactly how that process works whoa it's the same corner last time i had a problem with this corner as well um, i'm gonna go back again because even though i started even though I started going correctly, uh, like uh, braking at the right time, I still went forward because I guess I was going too fast. So, hand off the accelerator as well as just coasting and uh, pumping the brakes. Well, I, I don't pump the brakes. The anti-lock uh, system pumps it for me or pulses it. That's the correct term. See that? I slid laterally. La I slid laterally there. That wasn't my plan in the first place. So that's exactly what uh, what hydroplaning will do, is it'll cause you to drift uncontrollably, cause you to change your direction, and could potentially cause you to crash. Which is a very real threat. And when I, when I played drive, cl drive Club, I didn't really get the same sense of danger. Like, yeah, I saw uh, raining, but not to the same degree as what I'm seeing here.
This is like Floridian rain here. Because I think this track is... I had to take my hand off that. I tried to move my controller under the table so that you don't hear the clicking noises. That obviously backfired on me. I think that this track is in Florida, if I remember correctly. So this is <laughs> Floridian rain. It's probably a hurricane gathering somewhere. Well, it's not that bad because I can still see uh, some distance away. So I guess it could be clearing up or it could be worse in one direction. I'm not too sure exactly how the uh, how the ra how the rain system works in this. Because I go in this direction and it looks a whole lot worse. So maybe it's somewhat dynamic in a way. Because it, it looks like it gets worse depending on what direction you go into. Who knows? Uh, last time I played, I saw an airplane land and take off, which is pretty cool because... Like in Rio, it shows that these places seem to have an, an other lives outside of just being racetracks. That there is some purpose to these areas. I mean, here, there's airplanes. I think that's one over there. Oh, no, that's a helicopter. I saw a bigger plane somewhere. Uh, maybe I'll see it on the second lap. That's where I saw it the first time. So I am very far. I was going to keep this until the ending of the video last time, but... Oh, look, there's the airplane. Hello, airplane! Bringing happiness and joy down into a monsoon. But, uh, yeah, I'm very, I'm very satisfied with what I'm seeing right now. It seems to make the right improvements in the right areas, while at the same time eliminating gripes that other people had. Like, the, it seems like we're going to be getting plenty of courses based on my research on the matter. A, a bounty of cars and a whole new way of playing this by bringing the climate into controlling how conditions are going to be during a race. I like that a whole lot because it essentially wipes Forza Horizon, uh, not Forza Horizon, Forza 5. While it was good, it wipes it off the map in terms of functionality. I don't need to go back to it. I have way more functionality in this version of the game here than I did before. Okay, you know what? This is, this is fine. This is okay. I can save myself. There we go. There's tarmac there, but it's going to it's going to penalize me for that though. At least I still have grip. At least I have grip. That's all I can ask for. My split time is suffering. I don't care. I don't care. I want to finish this race. I had to completely redo it last time because I, I suffered so much. I finished seventh place the first time I did this. That's like. That's like Mario Kart standards, where it throws your ass back out if you don't do well enough. And uh, here, it's kind of the same way. You have to score top three or else the game will not progress. Good. Very good. And I have been f in first the entire time. So that's something I'm very, very good with this time. And it shows that I'm somewhat mastering these new weather systems. Dog decided she couldn't keep quiet for... 15 seconds longer. That would have been nice, but hey, take what you can get. It's probably nothing as well. The Michelin Man. Smiles upon me this day, for I have attained victory. And that's that. That is the last race in the demo. So, oh wait, uh, do I, I? I think I have to roll again. Oh, I do. So let's see if I can do this a second time around. So last time I, I didn't uh, I didn't do so well, but again, I'm going to cover my eyes and hope it works because that strategy seems to be working for me a lot. And here we... No, no, I didn't do it. Not even close this time around. So it, uh, I originally made the joke that the wheel is rigged and that it, since it's the demo, it's going to give you the best options anyway. But... Uh, and uh, it, 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 I guess it didn't work. I guess it is fair. And I just, I just got lucky twice in a row. Who knew? Anyways, that's the end of things here. And uh, yeah, I really like this game. I really like the demo. I felt that this is a real demo. It's just, it doesn't just uh, keep you from, from accessing a, a whole lot of stuff. It basically shows you what the game is all about. And I like it. I really like that this is a real meaty demo in terms of what we're going to be experiencing. There's a good half hour of content in here that you can play around with. Anyways, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, everyone.